Okay, we're going to be back. Uh, it'd be good. We picked up from where we were yesterday and everything is so good. And uh, in the audience, uh, happy to have you. Welcome to the program, to this part two of a two-part program we're doing with uh, Col Coley Clark, who uh, we might introduce you. This is part two of a two-part series. Uh, and uh, she was the she was the uh, candidate for the Senate of the from the United States Senate from New York uh, as a Green Party member. Got, did very well in this recent election, and she's also a pioneer civil rights leader. And she's also one who has visited uh, to the country of Libya. And we were talking on the program that ended yesterday, and we're picking up on that about the country of Libya after talking about a lot of other big existential issues and so forth. And welcome back, Coley, to this. Thank second you. It's always good to be here with you, Aaron. Oh, we were just talking about Mr. Gaddafi in Libya, and you, I had shared with you I'd been there about seven or eight times. Only country I was interested in because of my own reading of things. Mm -hmm. And we had talked about how he had to set up that Jama Haria, which means state of the masses. And also we were talking about, uh, as we began that program, which should underscore here, we think that there's an existential challenge to everything in a very yes. real sense that might lead to teaching starting to emerge across the country about where we stand on, on large issues and so forth. But we were talking about the country of Libya because we both have an interest in it. Mm -hmm. And we talked that he, he said, John Maria, they had participatory democracy they've tried yes. to put in place. And they had people's, people's meeting halls everywhere and everybody over 18 years old was able to go to that and they were informed about the condition. So it'd be like people's uh, conference, uh, like town hall meetings, like we used mm -hmm. to have in New mm -hmm. England. Mm -hmm. And it's participatory democracy. Uh, people participating directly in the political process is a progressive idea in broad general right. terms. And he had done that politically and then also, he called it the socialist John Maharia. A lot of people, progressives or of the left, would think of socialism with Castro, or yeah. even back to Marx and yeah. Yeah. Bolsheviks and all of that, and that they had a certain take on things, that the government can do things well, and that the capitalist accumulation is something that's to be challenged and so forth. But it was socialist, and he had, divide, he had taken the money that came in the country of Libya, mm -hmm. which was a great amount, because the oil is very, very rich, it's very favorable, really well position to the European and other market and everything, but he had spread the money that came in in large amounts around and that all the human index indicators had gotten to be where the people, by and large, these things all have to be looked at in detail and everything, but they had gotten to be where everybody had education, they got to 97% literacy from That's practically right. zero, and all the other indicators, public health, uh, sanitation, you know, electricity mm -hmm. in every village, people owning their own home, people owning their own automobile, uh, mm -hmm. education, health, was all made available yes. to them to where they had the leading indicators of all the UN figures and so forth on those things within a brief 20, 30 year period testing, uh, you know, th that principle. But then we were just ending the last program that we aired yesterday, uh, we were talking about uh, the private sector. He did not, and I think it's where it f f good for us to keep in mind that in a large measure, the, the Arab and also the, um, the Islamic broader community, one quarter of the world population mm -hmm. adhere to Islam, are, are not uh, necessarily in opposition to the institution of private property or even a private sector, mm -hmm. which is mm -hmm. something that people of a progressive nature might think that that's an evil institution, at least <laughs> inadequate. But he had a private sector. And you'll remember, Coley, you were there just recently. Yes. With, were you with Cynthia then, Cynthia Yeah, McKinney? with Cynthia McKinney. God bless her, give her and the best regard. And 16 regards. other people from the United States of America. But they have these little signs that were like Burma Shay says, it says yes. partners, not wage earners, and I'll, we're just wading into this, and then that'll get into larger issues perhaps. But they have partners, not wage, and if you could start a private sector uh, enterprise, entrepreneurially, mm -hmm. I remember I saw some people who were uh, doing a pasta factory and everything. And he had a thing and he was trying to, inf and, oh, and they wanted with the political as much as they possibly could have sovereignty vested at the level of the people's congresses, mm -hmm. which is, that's, that's right. political. But economically, you could have a business and you and they would help you in the startup if you're a Libyan and that, but they had a real unique thing. 
and they had little signs that were partners, not wage earners. Right. They questioned, in a certain sense, the labor theory of value, which is something to think into, to have into account. And if you started a business there, you could start a business and everything, but you couldn't hire anybody. Right. Now, just think about that for a second. That's the, that's the um, you know, philosopher's stone or whatever. We've got to get jobs for everybody, mm -hmm. let's say in the recovery that we're trying to go through here in the United States and other parts of the world. And the way that we distribute income to the masses of the people is strictly through, practically for everybody, through their labor participation and production. Right. And there you had to be the people who made up the company, they will be employees or something, they had to be owners of the yes. capital assets of the company. And that's something that's very interesting and so forth on the economic front. So maybe we could pick it up. Yeah, what do you think important. of that you know, idea? Let's get a job, get a job, get a job, uh, a job. Um, job, I think that's job. true. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. You know, so what's happening in those old ghetto stuff from New York, well, Pennsylvania area from years going by, when I first came north and people were saying, I got to get me a job. Oh, uh, yeah, right. you know, they did say that. Yeah, I'm happy sure. to like Job long, from long the Bible. Suffering, yeah, you know? yeah, long suffering, yeah, <laughs> yeah. right. Uh, wage uh, slavery is also but, attached but, but to But moving it. away from the wage slavery piece of, of the concept mm -hmm. of having to uh, bind yourself, bond yourself to somebody, mm -hmm. to a company, to an individual where you are the worker, you are the servant, and saying that, well, we, we, we're going to develop a business we're all now owners. Yeah, no, that's not characteristics of the way the American economy works. Oh, no, this has nothing to do with you the American separate... economy. This is the absolutely opposite of the American economy. Well, yes, it is, but it does have a role for the private sector. Oh, that's, that's, that's the point. Is, that, okay. My whole point, yes, this mm, is the mm, private sector. Mm. So you're saying that, but you're going to be out here as developers together. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we start a business, and so it's partners and not workers. And so we're going to work together as partners. Well, oh, partners you can do in terms of your partners on a golf team or something, but you know, it's also that you have, uh, you could have a, an ownership stake and let's just say a piece of the action, yes. as they would say. This is addressing perhaps the right wing kind mm -hmm. of concepts mm -hmm. here, because we have a country where I brought in, I forgot to bring them, but they're charts that show wealth mm -hmm. and income in the United States in terms of, you know, yes. 20 percentiles going down and everything. And it's all totally concentrated, the wealth is all totally concentrated in the upper. Um, the upper, the upper class of society, even down to where it's up to really seriously in the upper 1%. Yes. And that's characteristic of the world. The capital assets mm -hmm. are all owned by a tiny plutocratic class, and then everybody else is the only way they can think that they're going to get income to buy food for the kiddies and things is to have a job. Mm -hmm. Essentially on the estate, of the people who own all the assets and set the templates for all the institutions, it's rather like indentured slavery, but it's tied up with things like the work ethic and a mm -hmm. lot of things mm -hmm. that they try to have people relate to. And it's the only way we've been able to distribute what the economists would call demand mm -hmm. to the people mm -hmm. in a large way, which we did very well in the United States after the Second World War. Uh, we needed those workers in the factory to turn out things and so forth, and we built a real uh, serious middle class. We had tax rates from a 90 percentile under, under uh, they taxed up to 90 percent mm -hmm. under Eisenhower. Never got less than 70 percent till we get up to the modern era in terms of the taxing of the, of the wealthy mm -hmm. in order to distribute and, and create jobs, and they needed the jobs. But uh, the trend is for more and more of the work of the world to be done by capital instruments, and the labor input to production is, is in the United States is diminishing almost to the vanishing point. It'll always be there. Mm -hmm. But the real growth in the economy is in the area of capital instruments, and those capital instruments, or technology, mm -hmm. is uh, owned by a tiny plutocratic class, and it's just assumed that's the way the universe is set up. Do you yes. understand? He yes. question, yes. His was the only economy, even China, 
is state capitalism, it seems sure. to me, doesn't it to you? Yes, no, no, without a question. It no, seems no, that way. Yes. you got a billion people mm -hmm. still living mm -hmm. on a couple dollars a day in that right. country. Right. I mean, so you got a problem if you're only going to distribute ownership of private property, stock ownership mm -hmm. even, you mm -hmm. could say, in, in a private sector entity, it should be democratized. Everybody should have ownership as a means of distributing demand instead of just saying, improve yourself, work hard, and the work ethic that they say, and the only way to get money to people is through creating jobs, and that mm -hmm. is being challenged by the larger structural issues of the evolution of the world economy. Can you follow all that? I, I can and can we pick that. up yes, on it? Yes. And his was the only country in the world that questioned that labor relationship for the masses as opposed to and that there has to be distribution of capital ownership by the masses and if only to buy to get buying power in the hands of people to clear the market of what can be produced by automated systems, which is the trend of the world. What it says to me is that ahead of the history's curve. That, oh, we're far ahead of history's curve. What it mm -hmm. says to me is that all the people can participate mm -hmm. as in the owners. And in the ownership of the resources mm -hmm. in the production and the technology. And, and the technology that all of the people can participate in that rather than us having to say, well, we have this little small group here uh -huh. and they will be served by administrators of various sorts and managers. And, right. And they will be served by all of this common labor. and Or labor in all of its aspects. Most people... The, the ownership of capital instruments is very narrowly held. Yes. It's almost minuscule. Sure. And in terms of the growth, I mean, that's what I'm saying. That, that idea that we can get jobs, jobs, jobs is being questioned, and the recovery that we're all hoping should come along like it did after all the lying. other recessions <laughs> seems to have hit a brick wall. Now, it may or may not be true. Maybe it's true. We're going to get jobs. Everybody's oh, going to have a... Oh, Harold, if we get so jobs, we'll be working at a penny a day. Mm. Let us face yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. The technology, this advanced age of cybernetics, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all with the capital instruments you talk mm -hmm. about, mm -hmm. has replaced mm -hmm. a good two-thirds of the workforce. Mm -hmm. Common sense dictates, and I'm sure, I don't, I, we, we know that the, those in power understand this. Mm -hmm. Common sense dictates that we need a new, this is where I began to talk yeah. about the new paradigm. Right. That right. we must have a new economic paradigm and mm -hmm. we must have it quickly. Uh-huh, okay. okay. And I'm not too sure that the, that the old forms of socialism that we've talked about, of uh, 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 Marxism, uh, uh, are exactly what we need. I like that you're getting me Jamaharia concept mm. because it says that the worker is no, is not, we can set work aside. Don't have to be servant to any system. Well, that was kind of a good deal of the needs. And this is, another, yes. di this is another division in the economic order. A lot of the needs are absolutely certain. Housing, uh, education, yes. things are known. Yes. And that can be a large measure done. And the government uh, part, the pri public sector, is responsible for the stability of the national order. Yes. So the government has got a very important role, particularly in terms of providing needs of people. Yeah, but, but when we look at America, where well, right now, uh, we started out talking about the Tea Party. Oh, well. And the Tea oh. Party's demands on, on state, and the Tea Party's demand for cuts in budget and elimination of this, that, and the other. Things that the government have right. been able to provide well. That's and right. build up That's a right. public school system and all that. Yeah, yes, right. and then yeah. we look at the Tea Party in Wisconsin, mm -hmm. and they're talking about cutting uh, teacher salaries, cutting schools, da, 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 as we are in New York, but yeah. in a different way. Uh -huh. uh, and it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a Tea Party governor who is demanding also that labor itself, and the right to collective bargaining, the rights of unions be mm -hmm. dismissed, yeah. period. We'll well, eliminate them through the law. Yeah, they would, so, and they're able to do that not only because they're ideologically motivated yes. in terms of favoring capital or the, you know, the, the leaders, uh, yes. so-called, yes. uh, and everything, but also that there's something structurally built into the evolution of the whole economic order that is making it possible for them not, uh, the labor uh, organizations, I think it's down to about 5% 
in the private sector as any any That's right, labor it's been union representative. Less, less than used 15 to be, million. Yeah, it used to be, you know, million. It used to be yeah. up 40 percent. They had That's right, Lane right. Kirkland. But now and less than 15 Ruther. million unionized workers. Yeah, yeah, in the so, private sector and then yeah. the public sector, they have some. They want to quit. And so the power of labor to bargain in a yes. bargaining sense yes. of they did during the 40s, 50s, 60s, and so forth is diminishing. Not just only because of politics, which is there, and you got the absurdity of that uh, Grutti party thing, mm -hmm. where they're mm -hmm. questioning, uh, as we are questioning, sure, the sure. validity of the order. That's but right. we should be coming from a different perspective That's than right. they are. That's right. But that they're they're questioning that and everything. But it's structural. It's and no question about it. But but we you know what's what, what I'm looking at though, Harold, is that we start out talking about Republican and Tea Party. And then we get Massachusetts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're going, yeah, and yeah. And Massachusetts is Democratic. Mm -hmm. So we have this yeah. one animal, mm -hmm. not two parties. No. One party with two heads. Well, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. And so we need to look at that. So yeah. the, dem the democracy itself. But what are they doing? Mm -hmm. They are challenging basic worker needs. Down to obviously the retired workers, we're talking about Medicare. Now, workers that are at the lowest end of the scale, we're talking about Medicaid. Cut, cut, cut. Yeah. Cut Social Security. Yeah, they, they which will, was put in place by the Roosevelt administration yeah. to protect workers. In 1935. Yes, yeah. but mm -hmm. it's, these are worker yeah. protections mm -hmm. so that you grow old or you have need and there's something in place. And you, you contributed to that. It's mm -hmm. not something where the government just put up all this money for Social Security. The worker. They paid up, into it all. Paid into yeah. all of this, and, it, and, and of course, if you looked at, at, at the double interest rates and da 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 yeah, da, yeah, yeah. the workers' interest keeps keeps doubling. So, yeah. uh, except there's millions upon millions of workers, which yeah. makes it a bigger system. Also, first you, you robbed the yeah. damn system yeah. under Reagan. We robbed Social Security. Yeah. So we first robbed it, and now we want to destroy it. Well, so mm -hmm. what I'm saying is, is that we see this thing called worker being reduced to zero in the United States. Well, not I, I, that's a little bit extreme. We're always going to need labor. We're always no, but I mean by zero, the, yeah. By the zero, input I mean, to production yeah. is changing. That's it. If I may, I got a chart. Yeah. I didn't bring yeah. it. I yeah. should have, but yeah. you can visualize it. If you look at the United States of America, 1776 to the present, and so right. forth. Thomas Jefferson's time, we had a vast. Uh, Continent, a very rich resource, and so forth. And I guess but so. I was, about, so. My people were working to, to provide. Well, nothing it was but, slave labor. You had to say yeah. nothing but the worst, capital. The worst slavery ever in the mm -hmm. history of the world. That's I right. do believe right what here. happened in North America. But you had about, if you looked at the economy then, 1776, you just got the steam engine. Yes. There was no manufacturing. That's uh, right. It took you 12 hours to make a pair of boots. But in overall terms, about 85% of the, or 90%, of the production was human labor. That's it was right. really necessary in order to have, let's just say, really goods and services and so forth. And if you looked at the trend, if you had it read in a certain way with reasonably competitive markets, which the international order is going to force upon the world system, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you're not going to be able to just make work and so forth, uh, presumably. But it goes like that, and it probably has gone up now to where it's about, just about reversed. About 15% only of yeah. the production in the current economy is done by is is done by labor. They've about reversed from the time when we yeah. set up our yeah. paradigm. They've about reversed, and what it is, and those capital instruments are what is responsible for production, and those capital instruments are plutocratically held by a small class of people. That's right. That's and, right. that, and the only way to distribute income to people is to have them have a job. They were needed even in mid-century. You had to have people on the assembly line to make mm -hmm. a Ford. Mm -hmm. You needed mm -hmm. people. Now you don't. And the cybernetic process is one. You get an algorithm that can misplace 150 people watching a, a keyboard or something. Yes. And, you know, that's going to come to be. So the idea that uh, Mr. Obama, let's just say Mr. Obama is here. He was elected. Yeah, he was talking to hope and all that. And the only thing they talk about, they have to bail out billions of dollars to the banking people. Mm -hmm. They need more yachts mm -hmm. and whatnot mm -hmm. and take all those mortgage loans, everything that happened in that. You had to do that to save capitalism. And then all they say is, well, we'll get a recovery. We will get jobs. And please, would you hire some of you people? Would you hire our people so that they can get money to buy food for the kids? Yeah, but at, less, but at less wages. 
Here, go, yeah, well, they so would be it down. So the wages are going down. Yes, they would. Everything's be, going down. They've all been bargaining down. The unions have all. They've all been Libya's taking fifty billion dollars of Libya's money from the Libyan National Bank. Uh huh. Uh huh. All uh, preparing, it looks like, to, to invade out Algeria and probably other parts of the world. Mm. Uh, already out in Afghanistan and Iraq, doing what? Taking folks' resources. Uh -huh. Because well, it's the only way these these dying capitalist states can stay alive. And yeah, America's a dying capitalist state. I wanted state. to stay with the point for the United States and we come yes, back to it yes. because the only, and, and so what that is, that's the trend of history. Yes. That's a, like you, you had feudalism for a thousand years in yes. Rome, after yes. Rome in Europe and everything, and then there came the steam engine. And there came the Enlightenment, and there came Hume, and the Scottish Enlightenment, mm -hmm. and there mm -hmm. came, uh, you know, the United States of America, yes. and um, and everything. And so the system that would call itself legitimate was uh, supplanted by the United States making a challenge to that in 1776. Yeah. They made yeah. a challenge to that. That paradigm was in place with all the chargaresque uh, in, 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 uh, institutions and so forth that built for 230 years based on that idea mm -hmm. uh, has now come to a point where it's so mired down in outdated notions of what has to happen yeah. within a scarcity assumption which was valid at the time, mm -hmm. all yeah. of these things, and that you can have the capital assets all owned by a tiny class, let all the decisions be made by them like, like earls on a feudal estate, the bankers and so forth, and that it doesn't, and, and that all the ownership and the growth of that is going absolutely astronomical. It's all going to the, to the, top. To the people who own the assets, mm -hmm. and there's mm -hmm. no way to spread ownership to the people are never given serious consideration of, of having the capital formed in a way where ownership is in the hand of the people. Let's just say a private property stock ownership is democratically held yeah. by the people yeah. if only as a way of distributing demand so the people at large will be able to clear the market if uh, you have automated production that don't well, you, need you, workers. You can either do you that. Understand? You can either do that or the worker must <laughs> demand to be owner. Period. Well, no, that's yeah, how did they, but they become an owner of what? They become uh, an owner, owner of whatever of a, resources are being developed. Yeah, but yeah, but, developing trucks. The workers own the trucks, and, and the workers need to. Well, the capital, a lot. The, the wealth, the wealth producing, the factories, that's the right, institutions. Sure, but workers the, have a right to own those. Yeah, but that is such a revolutionary idea. Everybody just accepts. Well, the only way for me to get money for the kiddies is to have a job on Mass's estate. That's well, the assumption I tell you that what, is given Martha, by the fact that you're going to create, please to create some jobs. If Martha wants to be comfortable, mm -hmm. when you look at 300 million people looking at you, mm -hmm. then Martha has to figure out a way to share Thank you, Martha's but that's estate. a change that Martha doesn't want to hear. They didn't want to I hear it. They, they didn't want to hear it. Want to hear. The people must begin it's, to hear that we're not going to stop. Yeah, but they're not hearing it. Not they're not hearing it. The leadership, Geithner and all the people, all they're going to say, teach in, maybe, okay. But do you understand what I'm saying? Martha didn't want to hear we're in slavery. That's right. We need slavery. We got to have slavery. As, as you see, Massa doesn't who rose up. Do you understand what I'm as, trying I, I'm to say? I understand what you're saying. So who yeah. rose up? Huge. The slave rises up, and the other parts of the community that were directly affected by slavery who said, "No, we can't deal with this." Yeah, but we than, got nobody rising up on what you call loosely the no, progressive intellectual left. Because they or don't anything understand. Here. They don't because they're tied into the idea that it's so. And realize how difficult it is. People get a sense, and it's not going to be eliminated. It's not that, and it's the way the finance. The, 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 the capital is formed. The capital is formed in a way where somebody owns a piece of stock yes, in a company. That's right. Including the buildings, including that. That's and, right. And from, if you own that, you get rich as you sleep because the, the value is going up all the time. Or okay? you get rich because you, 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 you own some land that you're not using. Whatever. So you throw it in soil bank and you collect, collect directly from Wh the government. Whatever. So what I'm saying is, but is the that people aren't the in people on that. have to understand mm -hmm. how the system works. Okay, well, the, and also how the system changes through time. Yes. What was relevant in the past is not relevant to the future. And just like we were ahead of history's curve, vis-a-vis -vis yes. feudalism yes. in 1776. Yes. 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 We set up all these institutions, International Monetary Fund, we had all the, uh, the academic, we did all this stuff and everything, and that more or less is the, 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 the template that all the world has bought into. And that's what's challenged. And they call themselves legitimate. 
And they're telling us, they're telling us by the only Africa, way. we're just setting up the African Monetary Fund. Okay. They're setting up no, the African the, the investment to be. banks. Trying to be. Yeah, absolutely. Now they got to fight that. They're in they the gotta, process now. This yeah. is what Qaddafi was involved in. Thank this you. This is what That's they're the angry point. about. Mm. You can't have an African Monetary Fund. Yeah. You can't have a, an African Investment Bank. Mm -hmm. uh, you can't have Algeria, Nigeria uh, uh, printing uh, money that right. France has been providing. Maybe denominating Fr oil. France gets a good deal of her dollars mm -hmm. off of, well, her, her francs, mm. off of Africa, well, these mm. euros now, mm. <laughs> yeah, francs right, euros, yeah. uh, off of Africa, uh, yeah. printing money right. for Africa. Right, right, right. It's over. Yeah, and, and, and so we move into another era. Yeah. You can't have it, Harold, when by 2020, mm -hmm. the third African satellite will mm -hmm. be in, in place. Yeah, so okay. We got the first one that's yeah. out there. We could mm -hmm. got us mm -hmm. telephones, and mm -hmm. even in remote villages, people can pick up a telephone. Mm -hmm. um, you got the second one, which China and Russia yeah. made a contribution. It's which growing. Is remarkable. So that one's up. But now, and that went up, by the way, in 2010. And I like December because the first one up to December 26, right after Christmas. Oh, yeah. Uh, tw Boxing day. 2007. Yeah. Box that sucker <laughs> in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the next one comes up around the 15th and 16th of 2010. Mm. And now you got 20, you're talking about 2020, a satellite going up produced entirely in Africa. Okay, that's In Algeria, yeah. going up to do what? To provide Africa with everything and these compete with any other satellite in the world. There's something and wrong with that. Ten times less mm. money. Yeah. Of course, there's something yeah. wrong with that. There's something wrong with that because from the standpoint that, of the people on Wall Street. Amen. And the people in Washington and Patron. Right. So Roma you and the destroy Patronia. destroy that which produces yeah. that. Well, okay, the, and back again, because we were talking about Libya. We can go on other fields. We're and talking there about other Libya and America, because yeah. we're talking about us yeah. being reduced to, 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 to nothing Certain. and not understanding our relationship to what's happening in That's Africa. That's right. And what's happening in Central and South America to Ecuador? Uh, yeah. What's happening in Honduras, Chile? What's happening uh, yeah. uh, to Everywhere. Venezuela? What's There's happening a, in Cuba? Right. Everything right. that's happening uh, to us, if we uh, really look at it seriously, we'll see the relationship. Thank you. That's what we're trying to look at. And back again, just to, without going into any depth, Libya was the only country in the world that addressed that issue. That's right. Everywhere That's right. else, the capital is all forming in the hands of the plutocratic class. Uh, they're all meeting at their, you know, and, and they got that, and that order is in place. And just one last thing on economic theory. You've got supply, demand, you've got all the economic canon yes. and everything. And Lord Keynes, Lord John Maynard Keynes, set the template for everything after the Depression and the Second World War and everything, and it's still there. And he did say in a letter to his grandchildren, wisely, never can be addressed, apparently, by our political or intellectual. Mm -hmm. The intellectuals are falling down on the job. But he said that in their maturity, uh, a letter to the grandchildren in their maturity be about now. You go the country. They were talking about the country or the world, but more the country. With a reference to the United States, uh, you're going to be confronted with something very hard to understand or fathom, and it's going to be massive, technologically induced unemployment. Sure. Okay. Yes. Now that may well be coming to do structurally, and there's no other way given that paradigm that the only way to distribute demand to the people is for them to have a job on masses of state. That's right. And, do you understand? Yes. And the only country that stood up to that and by being socialized and getting a lot of the everyday demands of economic providing of food, shelter, and the basic things apart from, let's say, venture mm -hmm, mm -hmm, or, or mm -hmm. risk taking and so forth, there's always risk and everything, was Libya. And so, and they, and they were said about, he was also thinking about denominating oil in gold rather than yes. in the dollar. Scared him to death, yes. So what you've got is a challenge, like the United States challenged feudal Europe. That's right. And they came and bombed it in, That's in right. the War of 1812, That's burned right. Washington to the ground right. in retribution right. again. Where the hell are the Azai's courts? Where are all the institutions? We go and bomb Libya and call them a terrorist. That's right. That's okay, right. because well, they are perhaps to, to, he was ahead of history. To the evil. <laughs> he was ahead of history's curve. Do you understand? Yes, and the he is. largest issue: How are we going to form capital and distribute demand to people? And that could lead to a situation where and people get their identity by their job roles by that's and right. large. That's right. Except that's not beginning to wash with the young anymore. Mm -hmm. You've got a big problem in buying into the paradigm that everybody depends upon growth and we're going to have jobs for everybody. We're going right. to have a recovery right. like we've had out of the past. It doesn't wash. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's and all. And that recovery never did wash either. You know, we talk about the recovery. But we don't look at Africans, we don't look at the Mexicans and others who are 
in the nation, mm -hmm. and we certainly don't look at indigenous people because we reduced them to concentration camps mm -hmm. who were not yeah, a yeah. part of any mm -hmm. of that recovery. Right. Well, yeah, right. Long-term unemployment for us means long-term <laughs> unemployment. Well, yes. You know? Yeah, you've got to keep them on the, on the plantation. That's right. That's right. That's that's the attitude, and it's not it's not going to wash in th three quarters of the world now. Have cell phones. They got these social networks. Amen. People are starting to get the word. You can't allow it all to be owned by a tiny one percent of the population. Own all the assets, set the templates, and everybody else is expected to be a slave on there. And you'd have to do make work. Mm -hmm. Now, maybe mm -hmm. we can do it. Can we create a lot of jobs? There's things we can do. Massa needs another boot uh, guy to clean his boots or something or something. You understand what I'm saying? Do you under, or ma you, maybe do you get somebody to unplug his ears because no. he better begin to listen. Well, it, Times well, are changing. Yeah, but now, now where they've gone and they bomb. Yes. And they're saying he's a terrorist. Yes. Not only but do they bomb, was, but they also insult the rest of Africa. Mm -hmm. The violent insult to the African Union, mm -hmm. who said we will work out our own problems. He helped get the African Union after uh, the he, organization he was the one of African that, States. That, yeah. that, that is his idea. Yeah, that's right. He's uh, paid attention to the least among us, among that's right. the world that's population, right. That's right. which is no-no. Yeah, you don't right. care about them. You care about only those 12-star hotels where all the rich people already right. have rich are there. So the, that, the, the neo colonists. Yeah. And that's all the called legit, induced and that, by Europe yeah. and other places, and but primarily by Europe. And that's called historically legitimate. Yes. Everything else is not. Yes. Okay, so where is there a real challenge? Maybe he was a challenge. It's so a that's serious the challenge because yeah. if you indeed talk about moving beyond the African Union to the organization of the United States of Africa. USA, USA, <laughs> USA. That's where he said it. Yeah. That's where Africa is headed. Yeah, yeah. That's where he wants to take it. Yeah. Of course, we got these African heads of states. Many of them are reluctant yeah. and uh, well, holding back because they get their, their own nest. They got, their nickels, they got bigger bank accounts up in Switzerland. And, and, and they don't There's want to see an uprising yeah. of their yeah. masses. Right, right. But Gaddafi, because Gaddafi. Particularly since it's encouraged by the United States and their running dogs. Yes, yes. They encourage. Look at the people that they align with. Okay. They don't care about the people. Amen. Okay, that's the point. And this yeah. is why they destabilize uh, mm. many nations in Africa, mm. create what we call these. They've got a mass genocide mm. going. Mm. Look under the genocide in Rwanda. Mm. What will we find? Yeah, Look no. Look under the genocide in Sudan. What will we find beside oil? No. Uh, yeah, you know, they we, don't care about yeah, the people. It, 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 I mean, it's, it's really hypocritical. And yeah. the point is, they're blind and they don't have a vision. The country of America doesn't have a vision that's required. Much like uh, the feudal order, people ought to have gotten into the fact that you're going to have an industrial revolution. We're having a post-industrial revolution. We're going through it. His was a model that could be repaired to by the intellectuals, and the intellectuals are all caught up with their ideas. You get your identity by some job you've got or something. All of those issues. Yes, They're yes. big issues in yes. terms of sociology and so forth. But it ought to be the progressives, not just these Tea Party people, are saying that something's uh, rotten in Denmark and Washington on the Amen. Potomac. Yeah. Amen. Okay. Well, we've got to do it because if, as we begin, Harold, to get this message out here, and we've got to get the teaching thing going, and we've That's, got to get I it going. I think so. Um, then people will begin to understand that if you talk about a democracy, then you're talking about as many of the people, maybe not all of the people, as many of the people as possible involved in the thinking through. Participatory, yes, Participatory, right. Participatory, yes. And also, how in the hell could yes. you have a, 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 a political or sociological democracy if you have economic plutocracy, that's which right. is the order of the day? Right, they're, they're, and that's serious all we've got. Yeah, serious okay. contradiction, serious contradiction. Yeah, yeah. It is not possible. Right, right. It is not possible for us to talk about a nation that can, 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 can deliver democracy to the world. We're one of the most violent societies on earth. Yeah, and we have an incredible capability. I, spoke, I, I threw that out quick. Uh, I really do believe, and this is something to teach. I would like people, and we may be wrong. Maybe everything's going to go along like, uh, you know, Mr. Obama thinks and all of that. But he's having real trouble. And they're having real trouble in getting that, that uh, you know, that unemployment. And they got, what, 35 million people don't have any work. If you don't have work, you starve. Yes. That's all. Yes. Because you don't have anything, no connection to how the stuff is being produced. Right. That's out of touch with That's what right. the future requires. And education, your educational institution don't provide you with any skills. They don't. You, all they're doing is they're trying to equip you to be uh, a good, uh, you know, outer directed uh, slave on masses of state. That's the overall mm -hmm. mission of what they're doing. Yes. I mean, yes. the educational sure. system sure. is be uh, answerable to an authority figure so you'll fit into corporate capitalism. Yes. 
Yes, and no? now, now that you, they, they don't have jobs for you, it's designed so you will be happy to sit around and look at yourself yeah, or, or until no, you die. No, yeah, you, you'll do most anything. It'll get down to where it's like surgery. You'll do anything, you know, because yes, you'll be hungry. Yes, that's what I'm saying. You, you know, they, they can just beat the around. bejesus out of you and take away all your rights. And we've been and here. This is that, okay, this, the yeah. world must understand mm -hmm. that where we are now as a people, it's not new. Mm -hmm. We've been through here through the whole feudal systems and the system prior to that, whatever the hell it was. 200,000 <laughs> long years <laughs> yeah, of yeah, Mount please. Sisyphus. Yeah. We've been here before yeah, where right. we were begging and pleading and crawling. Yeah. I read some of the biblical stuff and yeah, the, yeah, the Christian yeah. biblical stuff. It scares right. me. Right, but, right. But, you know, people milling about and I did the big mess and big mm, hell. Yeah. Um, but what's this thing that Mr. King was talking about? We get that promised land. We're going to talk to everybody. Is there anything to that? Is there maybe on the verse let, let, side? Let's take him back to 1966 when I know him best. Yes, sir. That's in Chicago. God bless him. I'll never forget him making the speech where he says that America has to redefine her values. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he goes of the on world, the, too. That's yeah. what he's talking about. But America we're now. the leader of the world. That's, that's the right. point. Yeah. That, that you have to redefine her values. Mm -hmm. That here we were in a nation. Mm hmm that one, the cybernetic age, was al already on the stage, and mm. he could see it clearly mm -hmm. as he talked about needing, you know, less than two-thirds of the population needing jobs. So one of the things that he America needed... He did say that? Well, that's Dr. King. He did say that. Can you send me chapter and verse? That's well, part of our teaching curriculum. Then we're going to have it as a part of teaching okay, curriculum. Good, he good. goes on to say that the first value she mm -hmm. must start mm -hmm. redefining mm -hmm. is the value for work. Mm -hmm. Really? Oh, yes. Good that's for him. King. Good for him. Not yeah. only that, that mm -hmm. we must talk about a guaranteed annual income. Yeah, okay, yeah. Robert Theobald, Either you provide Revolution. human beings yeah. with jobs mm -hmm. or guaranteed annual income. Okay, now how are we going to get that guaranteed income? We could do that by... No, you can you know, is there anything to the idea, this is the thing for the progressive. Yes. I don't think there's very much in the right wing quarters of the society that have much to do with uh, in leadership intellectually in terms of the movement of liberation or anything. It's the left wing or it's the liberal wing of the progressive wing and they are blinkered. That's my, one of my points. They're blinkered in terms of this thing that the labor participation is being diminished maybe ought to be, and there has to be an alternate way for that. What it could lead to is a leisure society. A leisure society, not one where, you, where you're comfortably leisured. We could get, we have the means to arrive at a comfortably leisured society with good design where the people are able to be free to do what they want to do rather than what an economics is they've got to do in order to have bread to feed their kitties. But if we start Slavery. here, start here, there's a Kent State Conference scheduled, I think it's June 25th to 26th. I still remember the 70 oh. when they were oh, four yeah, Kent killed. State, they're going back to four Kent State this time with the unions going back with okay. workers coming. Yeah. And hopefully on that agenda, mm -hmm. Well, be what we're discussing here. Well, what is on the agenda ought to be how in the hell is there, is there anything can be done? I don't know. Maybe it's too too deeply ingrained. Well, the head of the AFL CEO only... is at last calling on the workers now to do you know what he's asking for kind of a worker uprising. And let me see if I can quote him. Okay, who are you talking to? Um, who? King? Uh, hold on a minute. No, this hmm. is AFL CIO. Oh, okay. This is all recent. Okay. Um, the FBL South has called for the creation of millions of jobs, da, 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 security, Medicare, da, da. President Richard Trumpka. Trumpka, yeah, yeah, Yes, yeah. recently argued. But I am increasingly convinced that if we want the law to change, workers must demand that change. Well, okay, the workers should, but one of the things the workers could have done and been collectively bargainable all the light. And my granddaddy was a union organizer in Detroit. They yes. fought like demons to get all That's those right, things. That's right, to get anything they got. They had a hard time doing Died it. Died like and everybody And it did serve else. well. Right after the yes. Second War, all that kind of thing, it served pretty well because there was some parity between labor and capital. But the Wagner Act also emerged well, immediately after. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. All I, of yeah, this stuff comes. But, I mean, the, the thing that they ought to be asking for is ownership. And that's exactly in an interview that's what I we're did. talking about. No, yeah. yeah, but ownership. But people on the left, if I may, okay, yes, people on the left, liberals, progressive, yes. Yes. they hate the word ownership because they think of ownership as being something massa. Massa owns everything. Mm -hmm. Now, we don't want no ownership. That's mm -hmm. for Massa, the mm -hmm. king on the hill. <laughs> we don't want no asset. You know, and they could have collectively bargained for ownership That's when right. the capital formation of the advancement of the society and they didn't ha they they weren't a they could have done it um, you know and they didn't do it the only country that did that was Libya 
Yes. And now we're well, attacking we them. We have few little examples of worker-owned companies in the worker United States. Worker-owned. Michael Baker Engineering, my brother worked for it worker in Jackson. Worker-owned economy. Workers bought it out, but they all went down. I don't know what happened to a them. A worker-owned private sector. And now we've got to be talking about, yes, yeah, the because workers it, are going you understand. on the economy. Well, as a way to distribute buying power. But don't let anybody kick your butt, Harold. Well, I... I Nothing I, I, for unions is. Mm -hmm. And it's for Trumpka and those other union yeah, bosses yeah. who stood by to now and everything's being ripped away and they began to speak up a little bit. Uh, the truth of the matter is, if workers had said all along that we're not going to obey Wagner, we're not going to obey any of these laws you created for us, we're going to do what Joe Hill and others were doing across the development well, of union history in the United States. We're going to stay on the battlefield until we get what we want. Well, that's all right. That's solidarity forever. God bless yeah, Woody right. Guthrie yeah. and Pete Seeger yes. and solidarity forever and all of that. And it's really good. My granddaddy was an organizer, and I understand all of that. But with, what they didn't ask for was ownership. That's what I'm saying. Because if you, They could have collectively if, bargained for one that. Wagner but they, all came, they did when was the first Wagner came, they yeah. should have at that point mm -hmm. said, if you're going to tell us that we can only uh, negotiate, bargain, uh, have workouts when you want us to, then we want to demand no, they, ownership they, they, of the They companies. got sit-down strikes, and they got, and they got, and, and it went up. One guy in Detroit, when I was growing up in Detroit, you had a guy working, all the kids went to college, they had all the health, they had everything yes, done yes. from what he did by going to work at Cadillac or Ford. Yes. I mean, everything, was, but that's changed. Yes. And that change was in the air, and it could have been seen. You see, Mr. King saw it, and what the unions could have been bargaining for was ownership of the That's capital right. asset. That's right. That represented the culture, the, uh, right. the non labor. That will be a share of ownership, production. sure. Yeah, no. As a way of distributing income rather Amen. than a job. Now, if you've got that coming, like those guys that have all that income, they do, they can do whatever they want. They can do and go make a, you know, they don't have to answer the call of the whistle at the factory gate. They're just getting money because they own all the assets. If everybody owned the assets in the system, the people could be freed to be concerned with the things that really matter, like taking care of their baby. That's right. Maybe making some music, maybe Amen. making something really worthwhile, yes. rather than everything laying down to Moloch. Now we're going to be a and community at doing. last, a community. A community of people who are doing that's what they a want. real community. Autodidactically oriented yes. and doing what they want and liberated from these constraints of a system that's out of date, which the United States of America is the leadership element of this so-called, you know, what do you call it, legitimacy, historical legitimacy is out of sync with what's required. And there ought to be a rallying cry coming from the left. It's got to come from, from the, the intellectual. Left. It's got to come from the intellectual left. community. Got to have, falling we gotta down have intellectuals jail. coming out too who are not owned by a boss. Um, so we've got to look at how full, do we do look that? At, look at Fulbright and say the arrogance of power and say yeah. that the intellectual community on this college campus will say no, there will be no ROTC at Columbia. No, there will be no more military. We fought that battle in the yeah. 60s and 70s. Then you'll not be back here. That we got to have that kind of an intellectual. But what that's backbone, bone, yeah. and that means risking your life. That means risking everything because this system will kill you. Well, they will kill you, and they will also make it down to where the only way, if you want your little baby not to starve to death, let's just say, you will, by God, get your ass in that army and go kill people for us. Yes. And then you get a chance to have a little something if you go along with our predators and our uh, asserting our system on the world and asserting but themselves. But the problem with that, Harold, is the other folk are challenge. now fighting back in another way. Well, there and is we have some. never won any of those wars. We'll go off and kill up all these people in Afghanistan. What Come out, we? we would look for bin Laden. Bin Laden, we say we found him. Uh, but look at the hundreds of thousands of peoples whose lives have been destroyed. Look, look at, at Iraq. The millions Iraq in, has millions been in Iraq. Apart, millions yeah. in Iraq. Now they're Iraq, gonna... Iraq, which had a highly developed uh, literacy system. Absolutely. They highly were very developed advanced, uh, yeah. health system. Yeah. All of these things have been reduced to rubble. Well, yeah, that's right. And now they right. must do what they're the same thing with Libya, reducing it to rubble. Yeah. No, we will not stand still. And that, the world must say we won't stand still, America. You can play the game if you want to. But America must say, we as Americans, I don't want to be faced with anybody's guns or bombs or anything else. Mm. I want to say, look, I'm not guilty. Mm. However, I know I'm here, and I have to take responsibility. Mr. So I'm going to organize everywhere I can organize to get people to begin to educate themselves yeah. about what this system is about, Harold, mm. and to begin to demand 
that we take over the hams of this government well, rather right. than leaving it in the hands of, 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 of ignorant people. And we should know. it is ignorant yeah. to cut off the limb that you're sitting on. Yeah. Mr. Obama mm. and the corporate Democrats and the corporate Republicans and the, and the capitalists are cutting and off the, the limb. And the intellectuals. Where is the intellectual? Where is the teaching intellectual? Serving the needs of those who are cutting off. off the limb. They're all bought off. Bought off. Yes. They've all got their mortgage for their pension and their, you know, their tenured position at the university and they're bought off. And, and don't care about the next generation. But if also, you cared about the next generation, we well, would not allow this no, to No, but then it's hard, too, to get at a thing where it's a paradigm of paradigms. It doesn't fit into all your things. You're so specialized out, you can't think about the whole. Well, then let's take care of the mortgage and take care of your Al, you and I both been on college campuses. But we've got, we do know what happens on college campuses. At SUNY Albany, I can say that there were many a professor who were struggling with these issues, mm. were struggling against an administration that was oppressive, mm. They're struggling with the, within the unions. Mm. I mean, just so oppressive. Yeah, it's so bureaucratic. That it's, and then turn departments in on each other. Yeah, yeah. It just, it's, yeah, they, it's get, a, they divide and conquer. Oh, and yes, they can divide. Yes. That's a great way to divide and conquer the intellectual community. It they did. never can think about things in comprehensive terms because they're so specialized. Divide and conquer like they did the uh, people of the world. But another thing is this idea of terrorism, and they got yeah. terrorism. Now, how do you define, uh, how do you differentiate between terrorism of the powerful and terrorism of the weak? If you've got people who are desperately uh, th throwing stones at people, or some of the Sioux Indians, or the, the, the Indians who tried to do something, Geronimo, they called the, the thing Geronimo. He, I got a thing where he was, had, he was standing. Uh, the, the, the point, state terrorism. Mm -hmm. Madeleine Albright said to uh, Leslie Stahl, what was it, 500,000 babies in Iraq had been killed and yes. they knew so by our sanctions? That yes. was sanctions, yes. not the bombing, not shock and awe, but sanctions that were killed. Something like four million people were killed in That's Southeast right. Asia as yes. a result. Remember napalm? Yes. Went right to the bone of little yes. children and were yes. dropping it on them for some reason. And how come nobody ever, if you're on that side of the plutocratic leaders, so-called, of this outdated agent regime we call legitimacy, ever went in the dock for war crimes? Well, I and think, how we, need come to send, they can sing, I think and, we need to send all of them to the dock for war crimes. Well, yeah, but they but never are. But then that means we got to decolonize the United Nations. Yeah, well, all right. It's all, controlled by us every, through that Security Council. Uh, right. With the nations of the world, the uh -huh. majority of the nations of the world, mm -hmm. actually controlled by the Security Council. So the General Assembly has no power. Mm -hmm. No, I know, all right. You know? Yeah, yeah, no, no, but the point is that the, uh, the uh, victors all write the history, right? And they call themselves legitimate. I don't think they should be able to get Get away with it if they don't come up with something that addresses the issues that we're no, going to no. try. We and had do better in our come up with something that addresses the issues because the world's going to kick our butt. Well, American citizens need to understand: 300 be, million of us are going to get our butt. There's going to be blowback because we have allowed this to emerge in the world. Yeah, we Who's have allowed it, and it has got. It's at my world. Okay. Obama tried. It's because I'm not a racist. Yeah, so I'm not going to say try Bush. Mm. For war crimes and mm. not try Obama, try oh. both of them, mm -hmm. try both of their staff, try Cheney, try all of them. Because Wolf we awards. have committed horrible war crimes. Yeah, yeah. Going back to Ronald Reagan, mm. who has the nerves and the audacity mm. to do this stuff in, 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 uh, with Iran. Mm. Oh, this, 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 look at it all. We have got to do it. And for war crimes at home. Mm -hmm. I want to try them for the crimes against women, mm -hmm. the crimes against uh, Africans and other peoples of color mm -hmm. for the crimes against indigenous nations. Yeah. We have to be honest and say we have had enough of this. Yeah. But we must, as American people, come to a point where we are moral and we'll take the moral high ground, well, not the moral high ground yeah. where we go out and create logical, what mm -hmm. seems logical mm -hmm. reasoning mm -hmm. while, while, while we commit crimes on the planet. Uh -huh. No, it is our job as American people. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we should believe in the thing called democracy and say, yeah, we are going to be the decision makers. We will not lay down and, and have this go forward anymore. Uh -huh. As a mother and a woman facing mm -hmm. Mother's Day, yeah. I am not satisfied mm -hmm. that America will tell me that, first of all, we give the, the new, the, the new uh, the bride and, and, and groom mm. uh, for this kingdom yeah, called yeah. Great, Great Britain. We give them Gaddafi's yeah. children and his son mm -hmm. as a gift for the wedding. Yes, and then and for Mother's ritual, Day, yeah. you're going to tell me that I got to, to, to live yeah. with the fact you didn't allow this man called, if, you, if indeed it's true, mm. that bin Laden was captured, mm. did not allow him to come to the courts of justice yeah. to be 
heard by the rest of the world, mm -hmm. before the world, we can't allow this to go on. I don't want that for Mother's Day. I don't want for Mother's Day any more than I wanted to bomb another bus at Bremen and at Anderson, Alabama. Uh, uh, can't you Mother's see it Day. coming if, if things don't change or in some order? See, don't you see, see a, a, it's a, a, just the beginning? There will be other things where these people are going to have to be attacked. We're going to have more predators. We're going to drain. Mr. Stiglitz said we spend something, probably in the end, something like $3 trillion yes, in Iraq killing people. in order to kill them. Killing to kill. people. And everything, and then call and it. And we legitimate. still haven't got anything. I woke up this morning to a mm. bombing in Iraq. Mm. Fifteen or sixteen people bombed as mm. police officers, mm. whether they turned them on each other. Mm -hmm. I woke up to that this morning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how do we deal? We got about five or six, seven, eight minutes left now. How do we deal with it all? We began talking uh, about how we got a large picture about things. We've been here two hundred thousand years, and we're making a proposition or proposing. That this time, this uh, this this very time, the year 2011, is a time of qualitative transformation. Yes. Ladies who have the privilege of bringing new birth into the world know what it is to be in a state of pregnancy and being in a process. And we've all been through the experience of being uh, in the womb as a zygote and so forth, and then mm -hmm. into the birth canal. And there comes a time when you come to where the new appears. Right. Yes. Has, is it possible that we live in a time where that process of gestation, we've been gestating for yes. 200,000 years. Elephants gest 22 months, I think, but they gestate, and that this whole, whole body, the whole evolution of, the, of, of uh, evolution itself had been gest, and we're coming to a time where there may be beyond, uh, it's a new, a new reality that's emerging in terms of the, all, all, everything. And that we have a capability, we're on the ed razor's edge now, where apparently this is going to be part of the, ca the, uh, the curriculum mm -hmm. for our teaching. The weapon systems are species lethal, are they or are they not? Mm -hmm. They were in 1970, surely so by then. That's when they reached it, not in 62. Mm -hmm. There would have been a few scraggling survivors at the time of Cuba. We'd build up such a power to be able to kill each other. And so, and then the idea that we may have transcended material scarcity at the level of good design capability of providing for everybody to where there could be uh, the needs and the reasonable wants and aspirations of the human society with everybody involved in a liberated order rather than an enslaved one, which was the way of the old way, that we may be privileged to live at a time when that event, event is on the horizon in the time frame of which we live and we could have decision making capability for that great get up morning and that all yes. the systems have been. Do you understand what I'm yes, trying to say? Yes, I understand what you're saying. I propose we live in that time and it's time for the intellectual community to start coming up with systems of systems, paradigms of paradigms, understanding of what's going on in order to get toward the latter rather than the former. I think we have reached that time, Harold. You do. I think that, that we've reached a time when there will be paradigm shift. And I think it's going to come with the very, very young. I've, I've been looking at the kids, and I watch them all the time. I watch them in all the colors of the rainbow. So it's You're not talking five-year-olds or 18-year-olds? I'm 18 talking two- and three-year-olds. Oh, two and three even, yeah. And Aren't a little girl gorgeous? looked at me last Aren't week. She's gorgeous? three, and she smiled, and she said, I like my life. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I looked at her and said, you <laughs> like your life? Yeah, yeah. And she said, yes. Uh, uh, and she backed off, yeah, yeah, and she yeah. gave me a smile, yeah. and she put a hand on her hip, yeah, yeah, that's good, and she yeah. said, change. Yeah, yeah. And I no, thought, really, a three-year-old. What is she talking about, change? Start studying babies. Yeah, okay. Because the technology mm -hmm. has produced that which will control it. It uh -huh. will control the agency. These, these agents of madness uh -huh. have produced in their madness mm -hmm. through the technology mm -hmm. the opposite, because there's <coughs> always equal in the opposite. Well, <coughs> right? there's a balance the between the two. Yes, you, you see it in the baby. Mm -hmm. And these are little small things. They've always been gorgeous, haven't they? Oh, they're gorgeous. Haven't babies and they're sweet. Don't wipe out the babies, Obama. Mm, yeah. Uh, we see, well, they're doing it. That's they what did. I'm saying. They oh, did no, three little babies there. Oh, hey, in order to we uh, got kids with on, no vision, no vision, oh, no, none whatsoever. Don't care. Mm -hmm. Don't we care. We got kids on native rebel reservations as low as five years old yeah, committing right. suicide. Right, that's right. The we got kids, girls from the horrible. Latin immigrant community mm. in their teens committing suicide. Let's hope so these are all we, birth pangs. We we yeah. are going to have to see that mm. other group who's saying, "I don't like what you did to my mm. sisters." Mm -hmm. We saw it. I can give you a story of a young people from. 
Canada, I uh, got a call from a teacher when I was at Birmingham. She called for Dr. King. And someone came at the, the I don't know, with Jim Foreman from SNCC, uh, Foreman yeah. from SNCC, uh, mm -hmm. the maid or whoever said, come. Cause you were a, with them all, I know. There's a call yeah. in yeah. Dr. King's room. Yeah. So I had the privilege of going in Dr. King's room. God bless you. And the only yeah. time I was in there. Yeah. Uh, at hotel, the Gaston Hotel, mm. and talking with a woman on the phone from Canada who had sixth graders. <coughs> she said, my sixth graders want to come to Birmingham. <coughs> They to Burma. join their peers. Mm -hmm. And I never thought about it. Of course, I was out of Mississippi. That before the little babies were bombed or after? Oh, this is before. This, was just before. this is May. Yeah, okay, the babies yeah. will be bombed in September. This oh, is horrible. when I take my horrible beating. Yeah, yeah, A few yeah. days before I take that horrible beating. Physically? Physically, okay, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, so I am um, on the phone, and I recognize that this woman, I said to Jim Farmer, I said to Foreman, yes, yeah. I said to Foreman, I said, yeah. look, she wants to bring kids to Birmingham. He said, what? Mm. And so I just said, look, miss, this is a very dangerous time to bring children to Birmingham. And your mm. kids, are they all white? She said, they're all white. Mm. I've got two, she said, my class and the second class. Yeah. She said, but they see their peers on TV. Mm -hmm. They see them and they don't like what they see. They, can see them they the want to come and fight now. with them. Yeah, they yeah. want to come and do yeah, the dog right, in the right. water. That's what we got to so get. So what yeah. we're having is the mm -hmm. young mm -hmm. who are looking at what's happening. Mm -hmm. And the young, I had a group in from a school out of a, out of a, right outside of England, last mm. week, outside of London last week, mm. that I spoke to. They were mm. 15, 18 year olds. Mm -hmm. These young people are bright. Uh -huh, yeah. They're intuitive. Yeah, right. And they are asking questions that are real questions, as uh -huh. our kids locally are asking them. Uh -huh. We have a new generation on the horizon. But I am I'm impressed with the 15 to 18 year olds, yeah. my grandkids included. Mm. But I'm more impressed with them little ones. With the two and three year olds. It's encouraging. Who are coming up. Yeah who are taking a look at what's above them in the teen group mm -hmm. and are saying, I like my life. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, right, right, right. I right. like my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The kids yeah. in Canada were saying, what? I want to join my peers. Yeah, I'm willing uh, to put my life on the line, yeah, too. Uh -huh. I want to dance in that water. It's about time we, uh, the good book says somewhere the children shall lead you. And yes. maybe we should do good to listen and to that. I think that. the children will lead and us. Then I don't also, know about the good book, but yeah. I think the children are our potential for bringing us out of the madness because they understand the technology in ways which we, we do, they don't. They understand the women's revolution in ways in which we don't yeah. because they're going through the process. Yeah, that's right. And it so may we are, be, we're, we're the yeah. freeze, but these and kids it, are going through the process. And it's a responsibility for people seriously. This teaching idea happened, it happened to be Vietnam back then. 70, I think, is a major point. That's when a lot of crescendo was building up in the evolution. 70s, we could get back to that spirit, I think. And uh, we have a lot to uh, present. Uh, intellectuals or people who are concerned with these things have a lot to teach themselves and to get to some sort of thing where there's an alternative rather than just reifying the yeah, outdated institutions. Everybody's got a right okay, sing to out. live. Mm. Yeah, okay. Everybody's got a right to live. And before I mm. let this thing go down, mm. I'll be buried in the ground. Mm. Everybody's got a right to live. Ah, sing Listen it. here to me, mm -hmm. Mr. USA. Mm -hmm. No more full-time work, man, for no part-time pay. Nah. So we've reached that stage where we're saying we don't even want to work, brother. That, that's we right. We want to work together in owning the uh, resources of the land. I think that's really the most important thing. We want to share the land because the land is where the resources are. Not only the are. land, the resource. And the thing is that it may be a great get up morning coming oh, yes. if we could get yeah, to a state well, yes. of liberation. There'd be a resonancy that in it accommodated yes. to a liberated humanity yes. within an ecological order yes. that would inter accommodate us to a universe at a level transcendent to what we've been for 200,000 years, a new relationship in universe. We're privileged to live at that time. We, we, ought to get, we ought to get ourselves together and get on the stick and start providing some leadership in terms of understanding things intellectually that we could provide to our so-called leaders that are really worthy of following. Can I say to New, New York, I'll join you. Do it you. fast. Meet me, at, meet me in New York at the Kent State University on June the 25th to 26th. Well, we're going to talk about organizing with labor, and we'll get you the word when we're going to start the teach-ins in New York City. Be there and be, or be square. Hey, 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 hey. That's a hey, tool hey. fashion, right? <laughs> Thanks for viewing. Pleasure talking with Coley Clark. Uh, thanks for viewing. We'll be coming back again tomorrow. Coley, thanks again for all the great work and inspiration you provided, and thanks a lot. Well, thank you, okay, Harold, for we'll being be there. Okay, we'll be coming back tomorrow. Tune, tune in, and uh, that's it for this particular two-part series. Thanks again.